Good evening. So I said on Twitter today, is Phoenix right? This is because I made my fingers too sore from the switch. So I need to go back to a keyboard and mouse gain. We can do more Switch stuff next week, I guess. The plan was originally to do Phoenix Wright until the end of the first game and then switch to another game. Mainly because I don't want it to do back-to-back -back games from the same series. Especially since the Final Fantasy games are not one-day games. Anyway, I... Probably should have loaded the game. Give me a minute. Okay, that should be it. We get signal. Also need to start using the stream marker button. Okay, I think that's the right category.
I'm going to quickly read what that all was. Kura, you have disgraced me for the pale moon in the ski. Cries for your blood. The moon, it is your home should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon. See you in heck, evil magistrate. Greh, Bruna. The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns. Oh, cool. Hi, Overlord, and sit. October 14, 531p. Right, Co. Law Offices. So like last time, I'm going to try try transcribe and transcript the dialogue. This can take a few seconds if there are a bunch of line breaks. because the game sends the text exactly as it's displayed on the screen. Unless the text is in a color other than white. Red text tends to end up in the wrong order. Maya, that rocked. See you in her cable magistrate. <laughs> Phoenix, stop waving that broom around.
I didn't know you were here. Phoenix, of course, I'm here. Maya, Nick, you mean you don't know the steel samurai? That's a line that is messed up in the transcriber. Up after dunk, but before now. Maya, he's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Phoenix Young. Like how young? Maya, I'm 10 years old. Excited? Well, Phoenix, did you start we? Maya, hey, I'm only seventeen. Seventeen. I see. I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Just obey.
Might as well finger link over a shy. Maya, then watch it with me. It's really cool. And it's really popular. Kind of reminds me of how Iron Mouse was talking about Power Rangers the other night. Yeah, when they asked grade grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. Phoenix, I really, really worry about kids these days. Maya, Gramps? Well, the steel Sam Rover, I guess it's time to close up the office. Whenever Maya has this look, it's like, I'm going to murder you in your sleep. Phoenix, I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright Co. law offices. I don't know, would you feel comfortable taking your case to a law office where people were died?
especially if it was like a fight with the mob boss of the town. Imagine going up against like a fusion of Bezos and Turner. Cause that guy was like Mark Zuckerberg had he fused with a gaudy showman. Rich people think they are above the law. and make a point of using their power, wealth, and access to control things. That why in countries like the US, Canada, and Japan, there's always this fictional verb the mafia where there is a real mafia. Like out here, I always hear about Russian mafias. On television, you always hear about Italian or Russian mafias. And in Japan, you hear about the Japanese Yakuza. So, eh, it's not like flashy weirdos are not a real thing. Honestly, had the game just called him Generic American Rich Guy, nobody would even blink. Because that's the fiction we tend to think of when rich people get away with things. Anyway, continuing. Phoenix, how am I going to pay the rent this month? My, it'll be okay.
My eye. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Phoenix Humph. October 16th, 814. Hey. I, uh... Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Cell phone noises. Phoenix? H, hello. This is Phoenix. My and Nick. Phoenix, may I what? It's still Olu. <laughs> Mia, I it's the seal samurai. The Steel Samurai got arrested. I'm expecting Phoenix to go. I'm not interested in your to show me. Phoenix, huh? You mean the guy on that show? Hey, yes. Maya, they're saying that the steel samurai killed a villain. Okay. So, have you seen the new DuckTales? The way they introduced the guy who is Darkwing Duck. By going, hey, actor. But then the actor becomes the villain, and the fanboy becomes the hero. It 
who's a run red can? Anyway. Basic plot scene in TV show is T, actor framed for murder of another actor. And if you've been watching the news recently. There was a film being made. About a wrongful murder. And on the set, the main character's prop gun fired and killed someone. So it's not like life emits art or anything. Phoenix on. Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Maya on TV. Phoenix, yeah, on TV. Maya, no, I mean he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with a samurai spear. Phoenix, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You know. It has dawned on me I'm copy-pasting the dialogue from windows on opposite sides of the screen. Which is why you keep seeing me do this. When I could just move the windows closer together, Maya, just come to the office quick, please. Ne <coughs> Cell phone beep. <coughs> A 
October 16, 9, 22. Wright and Company Law Offices. Phoenix, May is he. Watching television. Television, now for the morning news. Turbo Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of New Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murdered weapon and are investigating further. Thank you for the set at Enolf. Phoenix, dot dot dot. This has to be a joke. See, I told you. Phoenix would be dismissive of it.
Maya. No, no, no. It's a nightmare. The steel samurai is over. The world is over. Cell phone ringing. Maya, what? No. Maya, I have to see your samurai. Phoenix, that would be what? I love how this game loves to use physical noises. Someone gets a bad news. Smack noise. Maya, yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Cell phone beak. Maya, let's go now. Phoenix, go, go where? Maya, they have the steel samurai down in detention. Phoenix, so what? Phoenix still seems to think this is a Maya fantasy. Maya, so I've decided this will be our first case. Phoenix doesn't get a say, huh? Thank you. 
the thing that bothered me from the last case. Is that these two psychopaths across the street? Could see in the window at all. You have a law office. Why are the windows two way? All you need is someone to go look for and Co is talking to a celeb and suddenly all the paparazzi are in the lobby of the hotel waiting to pounce. Next, well, what should we do? Mia, what should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the steel samurai. Phoenix, does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. Right, Sid. TV show style law dramas tend to have the lawyer doing detective work the police should be doing.
Like CSI always made me a bit mad. Because when they would invoke a computer somewhere, it was awful awful. And when they start talking about medical stuff, you know those words, but not what they mean. And a lot of TV drama is like that. Actual professionals in the field tend to be like, no, that would never work. I have a good example of this tear. Back in the 80s. Sierra Online produced several games called Police Quest. Now they were problematic for a lot of reasons. But the worst offense was that they shipped with a police manual. all the procedures. So the game was designed by an ex-police force person who is also not very popular. Sierra staff were telling him, you have to make the game fun. And he kind of did, didn't get why regular people didn't want to follow police procedures when playing and copying the game. Like various things in the first two games, get you kill it fired. Anyway, when there was that you have to compress the actual real real world time needed to do things for a trauma. And that often means making things take less time. which means you have to fudge the accuracy on things that are time sensitive. Like, do you really think a court case is over in three days? No, try 10 years.
I mentioned this during the last chapter. But if court cases could be resolved in three days, people wouldn't get a fair trial. I got a jury duty letter only once in my life. That was this white year. And they filled the jury before they even got to me. So I guess I will never know what a real jury trial looks like. And maybe that's a good thing. information to make a case yet. Phoenix, the case yet. Have a clue what happened. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. My, no, we just don't have enough. Information. Let's go to the detention center and see what this guy looks like. October 16th, detention center, their visitor's room. Maya, dot dot dot. Phoenix, what's wrong, Maya? It's him in the flesh. My arm is that guy really him. So another real life story to share.
I've met a few celebrities at conventions, and you just don't really expect them to be different from other people. But sometimes they are different. For example, I've met Adam West. And he's very much like how he's depicted in dead shows outside that men. And then there is Liz Lou Ferrigno, who played the Hulk on a TV show I've never seen. And he has a very intimidating look, but he's very nice. And that is what this reminds me of. Phoenix, why do you mean that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Ma'am, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Oh, come on, Maya. TV celebrities are not their TV personas. Phoenix? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying? Oh. Cool. 
Mayo, why yes? Will, something wrong. My and no, no. Phoenix, this is getting off to a great start. See, didn't I say he would seem intimidating? Well, I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Made it disappointed. Oh, number. Oh, number. Number? Oh, no, no, number. Act whatever. Will, no, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the steel samurai with that mirror. I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Mayo. Well, I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. He went out. Sniff you where?
This would be easier to do if it didn't double trigger the emote. Maya, Nick. Phoenix, what? Maya, he's a good guy. I mean, he's good? Phoenix, yeah. Maya, he didn't do it. Phoenix dot dot dot. Let's see what happened. Phoenix, maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes. Of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. Global Studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 0 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5-0 in the afternoon. But when 5-0 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, in a crumple heap near the set. They took off his mask. And discovered that it was Jackhammer dead.
have been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. Phoenix, the samurai spear. Well, yes, it's a long spear that uh, the Seal Samurai uses as a weapon. Why do Samurai use spears? Mokiyori, hand spear, a long spear at Shiguru and Sire. There is also the Naginata. I guess I never really gave it much thought. Phoenix, maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is? Maya, Nick, how could you say such a thing? Sorry, sir, I apologize for my partner. He's new to this, and a bit out of OF touch with the world. Well, no, it's all free, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks streets of Neo Old Toki. Oh, 
fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Oh. I guess he did defeat him this time. Tokyo, who comes up with these names? I don't I know, maybe the localization team thought they were being funny by making it say New Old Tokyo. Like in Sailor Moon, New Crystal Tokyo is literally New Crystal Toki. And in an Evangelion, Tokyo 3 is just Tokyo 3. that this is a new city that never was the old one. Like how you have all the various cities in North America that have new in them. simply new in the fact they were never the old one. Like in Canada, you have cities like London and Sydney. cities originate in the, in the United Kingdom. Knowing about it. Neo is just how you make it sound futuristic.
So maybe Nero is supposed to be Tuiko that was burned to the ground and revealed. But who knows? Phoenix, now, where were you on the day of the murder? Will? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9-0. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5-0, but I was a little tired. Lunch. I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5 0. I was late for the rehearsal. to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. I have to wonder why they arrested him. It's not like he was physically either holding the murder weapon or even in costume. Was he? Some action hero. Phoenix seems to be conflating the celebrity with the persona today. Well, what will the kids think? Snail. <laughs> I keep Misty Pink Snap as Snuffy.
think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Studios, I'll draw you a map. My Hawaii Nick, let's go. About ten bucks she asked for autographs. October sixteenth. Global Studios main gig. Okay, I'm expecting some security guard to go, hey, you can't be here. My, wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome. Aren't you excited? <laughs> Lol, old bag. Old bag, hey you there. <laughs> You want and you gotta go through me. May oh oh sorry. Called it. I had to we were on lawyers. Old bag, oh yeah, well that great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that Gawker's like. You stay out. Maya, G Gawkers. Old bag Gawker, side stairs. Tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Oh, 
She just rattled on faster than the transcriber could do it. Ahem. Use today something or do letters not work life? The rest of us, maybe I should. I was young, things were a mind. Hippy clothes. What are they? Youth's coming to these days. Yeah, it basically got every third line. And you probably weren't supposed to even be able to read it. Maya, on neck. Will I grow up to be like her? Please say number. Please say. Well, for some reason, no keeps getting Pash wrong. That why I keep saying no. Phoenix, I don't know, it's possible. You're not supposed to say that, Phoenix. He said, number is an abbreviation for number, but it can't tell it from number as in nope. Even if I use no as a word alone. Because the voice pasture can't handle single syllable responses. Basically, they found early on that if I did like. Or yes. The single syllables would end up. Nah. Yeah. Hurry. Ah. rather than a single syllable. So some things had just let go.
like I had to manually add a few tuber names to the word dictionary. because the way the voice was pronouncing them was, was off the mark enough. Like, for example, Silver Royal Momo, Iron Mouse, Kansetsu, Girl and Baby. Like, it has no way to pronounce Girl D in. because the M has no vowel. And the underscores aren't supposed to be said, but they are part of the username. So the dictionary, I think I fixed it to say EM as DM. Otherwise, that's why you sometimes see me change the text when it's uppercase. because uppercase text G E T S spelled out. <laughs> Hold back, hey. Listen when you're being spoken to youths today. I have a feeling this person is going to be a witness. because the game doesn't necessarily give everyone a name. Okay, didn't expect that.
I don't think any of these are important. Phoenix, so what do you do, do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. Hey, hey, hey. In fact, in my younger days, May no, you were a star. Old bed. Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Old bag. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. was a big star back then too, he was. This feels a little scoopy too ish Raw Ro Shaga. Herb, gonna get a drink. I wish Baja Blast and Cherry Coke were available year-round and in bigger bottles.
well on you. Phoenix Hammer. Old Bag, the Victim Dummy. The Evil Magistrate. reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Wait a sec. She used present tense. Why would she use present tense? Phoenix, can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? I'm going to guess that old dog liked hammer, but not powers. And wanted to frame him for the murder. Just speculating. Old bag, he's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Oh, maybe she just doesn't like the way he looks. Honestly, if we don't get Old Bag's real name at some point, I have a feeling this character is going to be liked. Mistress kept from the previous chapter. Old Bag, little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. Probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance.
No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Bear Huey. Maya, we don't know for certain that Bill Powers is guilty. Of course, he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? Old Bag, what kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Many Hearts is the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? Well, she's definitely a fin girl of Hammer. during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that, but reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What more? I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. And Mr. Powers is the cure.
old bag I was standing right here yesterday. I was. I was here from 1-0 in the afternoon to 5-0 when they found the body. took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, do you have to pass by me? One person went by here between 1-0 and 2-30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers. Yes. I saw him. Phoenix. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. a killer you can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Phoenix. Um, actually, we were here at Mr. Power's request. Oh, bad agos. I thought you were suspicious looking.
show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Let's go see if we can get said Laddie. Well, look! How was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? My, and no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Phoenix, right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Well, snap. Steve? Security guard at the main gate to the studio. Will the security lady? She called me suspicious looking. Well, why yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Mask were for her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. See you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Maya, girl, she's got some nerve. Presentation. Well, 
of sea course. Paris request added to the cart record. Oh, you know what? Like in the last case with Mr. Ricecalf. That guy was so excited to get some action on the case. And then there's this old bag lady who seems to be in a similar position. How does she even know what Mr. Power's handwriting looks like? Phoenix, I just hope this will get me past that security lady. And we need to ask about the Olivia again since it contradicts all that. I want to stop calling her old bag because it sounds more demeaning than it probably was intended to. Phoenix, Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Well, what? No, I'd never do that. Phoenix, earlier, you said that you were sitting in your dressing room after lunch. Will, yes? Like a baby. Phoenix, but the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. Now what? That not possible. I really don't.
don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. I guess someone wearing his costume. Phoenix, Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. Will, I know I am sorry. But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. Phoenix, what did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Old bag, hand. Yes, yes. I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. Powers request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to use of such unreliable appearance. Really? Phoenix, really? Hold the bag. Anyway, you may pass. You know. That line in Lord of the Rings. You shall not pass.
seems to think she's Gandalf. and the first Lord of the Rings film that come out in 2001. So maybe not a localization coincidence. but on the left from here toward the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. mentioned it, that means we are going to have to at some point. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. Oh, Gumshoe is probably over there. Bag, the good detective told me himself. Maya, hey, hey, Nick. Phoenix, what? Maya. There were maps in the security guard station. Phoenix, hey, not bad. Wow, but a rarely tiny studie. Oh, come. So out he. The movie studios are actually rather big. The closest studio is 15 acres. So yeah, this map is China.
Old bag. Those are 50 cents a piece. Thank you. Yeah, well, time to go, Nick. Old bag, 50 cents. Guide a map of Global Studios added to the court record. October 16, Studio One entrance. Come show you here. Whoa, that is a distracting bird sound. You. Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Maya, I. Uh, it's that confused detective. Gumshoe, hey pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. Why do I care about Edgeworth? He was a bit full of himself. Honestly, I know there's at least one other prosecutor. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Phoenix, I'm so. My, hey. If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. <laughs> G 
gumshoe. Exclamation point times three. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Ma'am, detective? Phoenix, I think you hurt his feelings. Mia, oh no. I, I'm sorry. Well, how rude, May. A bumbling detective is still a detective. Phoenix. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. Gumshoe. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, 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 don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Don't encourage him, that's this case. Gumshoe. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey? What exactly are you two doing here? May I? I'm well. We're on this case too, pal. Gumshoe, hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. Yeah, that's his quirky demeanor thing. This game.
Okay, so while it might be a bit novel in this game to give every character some personality court. This is more of a TV comic book type of core. Because real people don't have catchphrases. And those that pretend to tend to do it as marketing. For example, there is a guy who sells furniture on the island. His catchphrase is, I won't be undersold in a thick accent. And that's supposed to give you those lovable quirky feelings. But at the same time, when corporate brands do it, like my McDonald's and Lovinit and Arbis, we got the meats. This just isn't endearing when not said by a face. At least Wendy's and KFC still use people. But even then, most corporate brands are very sterile. <laughs> Gumshoe, that's my endearing character trait. Well, at least he's honest. <laughs> Maya, I'd say he's a character, all right. Oh cool, a new music background. Phoenix, so is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's hey. I can't tell you that, pal. My... Maybe you need 
to be a little more indirect with your questions. Phoenix Wright. So, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? Come shoot what I got. Phoenix, the autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Gumshoe, come right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Autopsy report added to through the chest by a spear. Time of death 10:15 at 2:30. Cause pierced through the chest by a spear. Well, that's not really something we didn't know. Though technically Phoenix wouldn't have had the visual we've seen. So let's put our clues together for the moment. Time of death is She was there between 1-0 and 2-3rd. She was there between 1-0 and 5 zero. The rehearsal was at 5-0 and Will missed it. He was in the studio from 9-0 to noon, 12. Slept from lunch to after five.
so Will was actually there before the security guard was. I suppose someone taking the costume and props would have to be the same size as Will. And since nobody saw Will Will without the mask, of course someone could have just taken it and returned it. Phoenix, why was Mr. Powers arrested? Gumshoe, simple pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now the victim entered Studio One at approximately one. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. Okay, so Mr. Hammer arrived at, at the same time Old Bag did. Gumshoe. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30. Only one person went to the studio between 1.0 and 2.30. Which is what, old bag is what what? I'm sure, and that person was none other than Will Powers. Gumshoe, no one else, pal.
If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Honestly, it sounds like you just relayed what the security lady said. Security lady seems to him have a fondness for Mr. Hammer. Maya, Nick, if that's true. Phoenix, thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. You. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Uh, uh, uh. She was probably being flirty with him. talking about the same person. When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Maya, remember what Power said. She's a sucker for authority. this evidence. Don't you? She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. Probably the speed. Wait. 
appearance. Phoenix. What kind of evidence? Found she well found her photo. I'm sure the photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. My, watch who took that. Come shoot. See the camera up on that gate pal. with a welcome sign. I'm sure you yeah. are. Whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. My, oh no. Maya, calm down. Maya, Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Phoenix, funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. Come shoot dot dot dot. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that.
jump ship. Oh ho 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 ho. My own. We'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Come ship sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Any clues I haven't already found? Oh, ha ha! This reminds me a little of how to get away with murder. That show was basically a lawyer teaching new lawyers. In the same way House was kinda teaching new doctors. In both shows, they tend to go private detective mode and break into things. around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Man, Nick, let's go. Got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. And that might be important. Three hundred seven. Looks like a cereal.
Okay, so the glass icon gave us the clue about the camera serial. And the studio one needing a key or something. Sounds like a place where someone can hide stuff. Me up next look. That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like. They're donuts. Maya, she's not a cop. Unarmed security guards are usually just glorified greeters. Have you been to Walmart? Or real Canadian superstore? Or Costco? Or any big store of any. The greeter is actually part of the undercover security team. So yes, they are not really special. Now bank court. Or security guards for armored cars. Those are usually X law enforcement. or were hired and have to go through the same training as Wong. I know here at the armed guards basically have to do the same training the RC and PG.
because in Canada, farms are regulated. So you can't own or handle a handgun. And the security jobs are a bit more of a pain for people to get. But again, a guard at a studio isn't much different from a mob cop or a undercover detective in a grocery store. And trust me, the undercover security people do watch. They're not just greeting you. Many of those stores have security cameras that are recorded. So they're mean to dissuade people from shoplifting. But it doesn't really prevent shoplifting. Mostly, it just keeps people who might be tempted to from doing so. But people who went into the store just to steal stuff are going to do it anyway. And out here, there's like crime rings of just stealing groceries. Dollar Pizza places paying homeless people to steal cheese and whatnot. At least that what I heard. It's probably an exaggeration. Phoenix, yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Oh, I guess stuff, Chuchmara. And Phoenix. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, bye. Hey, you. Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Phoenix, Urk. to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Um, oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important to know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day you see. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before one zero in his ear. The murder happened right around 2.30 C. The only one I seen go through here between 1-0 and 2-30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him too. If he's not the one what did it, I don't know who is. Phoenix, maybe it was you.
pulled back. Ha ha ha. Good one, Sunny. Phoenix, she thinks I was joking. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? He was the biggest star in the studio. Phoenix was past tense. Remember what I said about 10 shifts at the beginning of speaking with her. She is lying about something, but I don't know if that is localization issue or it was deliberate. Maya. Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. Old bag, that too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, it's, it's a disgrace, I tell you. It's probably a thing that this character believes that playing a villain character is beneath them. playing a villain or hero is the top filler.
At least on a TV show, the first credited name is usually the star. Every name thereafter are names in order of appearances. So characters that appear the most are going to be there. And you won't see the villain as the second name unless the show is from the villain's point of view. Because otherwise, how are you going to get that much screen time? In the U.S. and Canada, the Screen Actors Guild actually has rules about you put names on screen. Right down to spacing and timing. So I think this character here here probably upset someone went from the top build name to not the top, not necessarily the villain. But who knows, this game might have been localized with just a vague sense of the business. bag. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Phoenix, about the security camera. Old bag. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. A physical photo. Wait. This is 2016 through the lens of 2001. on camera or a Polaroid a 
if it's a digital camera, how could you tell anything at that distance? Cameras of 2001 vintage were alike, half megapixel. And Polaroids are kinda hard to tell anything. So who develops the photos? Old bag? Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. Well, yes, cameras of that vintage could do that. old bag, but I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. Okay, so they're digital. Old bag. I check them every day before going home, I do. Sorry if I keep going going on about technical or legal things. I like fine details in games. And sometimes an omission of something I feel is important to say can lead to a tangent. Like with, with the photos. A digital still camera of 1998-2001 vintage would be capable of no more than 12-8-728 resolution. Most computer screens of the era were no bigger than that. Though it's kind of odd to pick give Gumshoe a photo just like that.
Does she have an inkjet printer in the security booth? October 16 Global Studios Employery. This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Power's dressing room. No one here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. No souvenir of any man. Why is there a window into the dressing room? Phoenix, the glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Frosted glass is privacy glass. You usually only find it on bathrooms. And more to the point, the exterior of the building. The vending machine contained nothing fancy and see except the samurai today which Mia tried. No star image. Like you see on Disney and Warner cartoon references. Phoenix, the door to the dressing room. It's not locked. May I hey? Let's take a look inside.
Maybe we can find something as a souvenir. Sometimes I just call it. Phoenix, what do you mean find? May you? You never know. There might be something like the Cinemay Spear. Phoenix, we don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. I almost missed the sly button. Hey, hey. My dear, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Phoenix, well, if you want to leave, well, if you want to leave. Phoenix, well, if you want to leave. That way be my guest. Maya. Right. Hey, I'm not a kid. I guess that grate would go to the outside of the employer earring.
on the east side of it. October 16 Global Studios Dressing Room. We did see this before in the flashback from Will, but this is the first time we actually see it. Phoenix, Powers Dressing Room. Where is Hammer's Dressing Room? Or, for that matter, anyone else's. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. May I uh, No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Phoenix, right. And there's a picture of him near the crime scene. Phoenix, I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Well, if the window is locked, then it doesn't really do anything, does it? May I hum? This must be Power's bag. Phoenix, hey, don't open that. Probably the studio key card. Maya, look.
An employee card key. That must be powers. Phoenix Studio One. Maya, let's take it next. Phoenix, borrow it. You mean borrow. In case you're wondering why, I'm not reading out most of these. It's because they're just flavor texts. Which means they were added so there was more than one thing in the room. In most games, especially MMORPG G games, there are usually things you can look or talk at to learn more about the setting. In many cases, though, the localization of flavored text is immaterial to the gain. So in Japanese, it might have said something completely different. So I don't feel it's important to read out the flavor text jokes unless it reveals something important.
October 16, Studio One. Maya dot dot door. Phoenix, what is it? Maya dot dot dog. Phoenix, you were real quiet all at all of a sudden. Maya, doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape. It's so so real. Phoenix, well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the Samurai Spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Phoenix, they outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. costume must have absorbed most of it. Okay. So why is this prop spear sharp enough to stab someone? not leave any blood. Me, me.
he was killed somewhere else. And the spear was stabbed into the hole later. What's this? You mix that for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. holds it during filming. Okay. So that ain't real concept. Especially if you are steaming on the internet. Streaming. My actual space has something like this. It's to reflect the light off the light so that the camera doesn't blow out the picture. of Duper. That doesn't matter a lot except when you use Wetkins. All you need is a sheet of white paper or styrofoam board and I have it above my head. If I take a picture with the light on, the light is cast downward instead of omnidirectional. when you see in cheap productions circles in the actor's eyes that because the light was directly cast on the actor
In virtual production, the extent of this applies more to 3D. Watch. So this is a lighting effect. It's casting the light from the game window to my model. So when the game flashes and stuff, it will change the light. It does not, however, simply cast the game image. See, now there's a blue tint. I don't normally have it on. But let's leave it on until we hit a black screen. Phoenix, what? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? My, well, lighting is fine. But I'd want to be the director, or maybe the steel sim, right? Phoenix, I think she's being... serious. ladder. Phoenix, that is step ladder.
Maya, so what's the difference? Maya, you need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Phoenix, right, sorry. This girl is out there. What was that supposed to mean? Maya, hey, look, that the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real lift megaphone. These were all very stereotypical 1980s versions of directors. The thing she's talking about is a clapper bore. You can buy them at studio gift shops. These. Modern versions are digital and actually connect with the production equipment.
and I don't know about megaphone either. It seems that the actors and production staff would be on wireless radios. Phoenix, dot dot dot. Ready neck action. Maya, this girl is more trouble than I thought. Phoenix, this girl is more trouble than I thought. camera. That must cost a ton. You haven't the slightest idea. Studio cameras are like five-figure gadgets. Even back in the time that this game was made, 2001, you'd be spending 20,000 minimum for a camera. And that's just like news crew type camera. the setting. You'd be using DSLR Type 4000 movie cameras, or red cameras. And they're not cheap either. Studios like News would be using Blackmagic's equipment or Nutex equipment. Nutex is known for the video toaster. And that was a very 90s linear editing system. Nowadays, you can do video toaster stuff live. Like this transition between scenes.
Those were usually done with the pricey system. Now you can do it for free with OBS Studio. Phoenix, yeah, so don't touch it. Have I mentioned that I had pet interests in journalism, video production, and stagecraft before? Maya, whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Voice, hey, you. No touching that. Phoenix, um, um sorry, my partner is kind of, you know. May. Yeah, no, no, I don't know. Phoenix, um, who are you? Penny, who me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. Maya, we're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Penny, oh, you're doubly a peace people. Maya. Double EP. Oh, well, powers. I get it. Penny, I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay. He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Maya, don't worry, leave it to us.
did we finish looking at everything? I didn't click the camera, I clicked the Krizna lights. Hand-painted backdrop is used on like a theatrical stage. I know it's probably not entirely in the game developer's wheelhouse. about the day of the murder. Penny, yes. I was in the studio the whole day. You could probably do an entire Phoenix Wright like Schuber episode. Live. Yes, well, the studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday it was only rehearsal for our action sequences. I see.
penny. In the morning, I went through the action sequences in the employee area. You know, this is the first case where we were not actually shown the crime first. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. Phoenix, the employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is right. Penny, yes, at the place. Penny, after eating lunch there. Mister, Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. I didn't see either of them after that. Huh. So nobody actually saw WP leave the dressing room until five. That's interesting. I'll be back in a minute.
I'm back. Phoenix, did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? Penny, no, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. think I am. Phoenix, double you would kind of know now I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. a confirmation of Powers Alibi. Maya, what do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. who came to the studio. Then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Like I said earlier, this sounds very Scooby-Doo-ish. Let's see how did it go again. It's something like, it's always the first named character they meet. Old Man Wilkins.
I know someone had a really concise quote that covered all the 1960s episodes. But I can't remember it offhand. Phoenix, huh? Sorry, I know you're busy. Phoenix? Not really. Penny, actually, there's been something bothering me. That's what I'm talking about. A clue, a lead. Penny, well, I don't know about that. But that day, just afternoon. I sensed someone was here. Phoenix, you sensed? Penny, yes, several times. Other studio employees, maybe. Penny, no, I don't think so. Scheduled was an action scene run through. Penny, who I was the only assistant here that day. it was. Someone from outside. Phoenix, really? Wait, if someone had come in here. Maya, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Phoenix, yay. You're right. Remember that open grate.
how it was pried open and can't be fit back. That means it was open from the inside. So someone had a reason to leave without being seen. And since a kid could fit, that would probably suggest it was pin it. Assuming there is nobody else that could fit. I assume WP can't fit. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. Maria, Maria. Thanks, that helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Phoenix, so you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio. Penny, yes I think. Phoenix, I think, doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Maya, Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. We have several named characters and one unnamed character. So by game design formula, Old Bad can't be the killer. It has to be someone with the name. And the only name staff person is Penny so far.
Oh, I thought we had the photo. New time stamp that means new things to trail things. October 16, Global Studios Main Gate. Old bag, what? You're still here. Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. Phoenix, I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. Here at one zero PM, correct. And the estimated time of Hammer's death was two thirty PM. Are you sure the Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Hold back. Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. My what? Old bad what? Maya, are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Old bag dot dot dot. Maya, ma'am. Old bag, who was it? <laughs> Hold
Who told you that? Who dares question me? Hey! Old bag. All right, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Maya, I am. We were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. <laughs> Old bag her. She's not even a full-time employee. <laughs> Phoenix, she left. Is she gonna come back tugging on Penny's ear? Now's our chance to look at the computer. Maya, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Phoenix, the computer that runs the studio security cameras. Maya, ding. Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with his computer. Strange how that bird sound effect is the only stereo effect in this game. Phoenix, yeah, maybe. Like the bird sound is coming from center and center left, but the tree is center right.
know if my earbuds are in the right ears. Phoenix, okay. Let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick. Notice the old CRT screen. Or should that be Neo old CRT? Since it's 2016. Phoenix looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see first. I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. PM that day. One zero, that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. I think it was the middle one, but give me a sec. Phoenix there, entered. I didn't have problems with the remembering numbers bit on Big Brain Academy. I knew which one it was and still went back and checked the scroll back on my program. Phoenix. Yeah, hey, it printed out the data for that day.
feed and see what we got. Oh, that is clearly someone too short in that costume. So it can't be WP. And they're looking away from the camera, so you don't actually see the face. Paul? weapon was found in the bada. Why is it there? Unless maybe the detail being omitted was that they didn't see it. Oh well, well, all I'm certain of from the photo is that it's not really good. Phoenix. Phoenix, huh? Maya, how is this a picture of low powers? Where's that suit? I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Something's printed on the back. Okay, stop right there. The printers like Kodak equipment does that. Regular ink sheds do not. Seems rather strange to have a photo printer for a security state station just to check the photos that are printed instead of on the computer. Huh. 
I suppose that they have to send someone to find someone that isn't supposed to be there. They could be used in a pinch. Let me tell you. In stores they have most wanted, boards in the staff room. Call security if they certain people. And the one store I worked at one holiday season. outside the staff room. Phoenix, ha, huh. Oct 15, 2, photo 2. That mean. Well, for one, the time. So the photo that Gumshoe has is probably different. Phoenix, maybe there's more photo data from that day. Maya, nope, that's the only one in the computer. The game is leading you with powers. Suggesting that it clearly can't be. I wonder if we can show it to Gumshoe and see his. Maya. Hey, hey, Nick. Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Well, considering we stole it. Didn't ask permission.
it would probably be inadmissible. But hey, whatever you need to make the gameplay a few hours better than yours. That reminds me, I should watch Legal Eagle's video on Phoenix Wright. Because I'm sure he's going to point out the same things I did. lady in her place with this. Mike, hear that what I said? Anyway. Let's show her this photo and see what she says. Phoenix, wait. Let's not. My, why not? Well, my is not a lawyer. basically playing Dr. Watson to my Sherlock. Phoenix, it's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Could be the next. Evil Magistrate. Phoenix, hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax. It was just a joke. So, are we done for today?
Phoenix, I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. Now fam, no chess. Okay. Let's enter the Phoenix right portion he. Unless you want to go for another four hours. Since every section so far has been four hours. The Ellis or minus half an hour of me going on tangents. <laughs> 